Random facts you need to know. Act 1. Genghis Khan strategically married off his daughters to expand his empire. Genghis Khan only gained his title by the time he reached his 40s, at which point he had more than 10 children. Khan married his daughters to allied kings, who he would send out to war. His new sons in lower early returned alive, and his daughters took control of their new kingdoms for Khan. Act 2. A silverback gorilla could deadlift 1,800 pounds. That's 815 kilograms for you metric maniacs. To give you a better idea, the deadlift world record is just over 1,100 pounds, 500 kilograms. This should come as no real surprise, as gorillas are the largest primates in existence. Pack 3. A company in Japan awards non-smokers an extra six days of paid leave each year. It was brought to the marketing firm's attention that employees who went for smoke breaks had more than 15 minutes of extra time away from their desks each day. Instead of penalizing smokers, they came up with a creative incentive to quit smoking while keeping their non-smoking employees happy in the process. Act 4. In Singapore, when you turn 21, you're automatically registered as an organ donor. The Human Organ Transplant Act HODA, was first introduced in 1987 due to extremely low organ donation rates. It was only from 2009 that citizens and permanent residents were automatically registered as organ donors. You can opt out, but you may not want to as you'll be lower on the waiting list for organs should you need a transplant. Act 5. Stephen Hawking was rumored to run over the toes of people he didn't like. The world-renowned physicist used a wheelchair from the age of 22 due to a severe form of motor neuron disease. This didn't stop us from having a bit of fun, crushing the toes of many who drew his ire, including the UK's Prince Charles himself. When confronted about this tendency, Hawking passed it off as a malicious rumor, before jokingly threatening to run over the toes of anyone who repeated it. Act 6. The Apollo missions have left 96 bags of poop, pee, and vomit on the moon. All the way back in 1969, mankind made history by walking on the moon for the first time. That wasn't the only first that happened on that momentous trip, it was also the first time literal trash was dumped on the moon. Subsequent voyages to the moon followed suit, leaving behind all their unwanted trash, but it turns out that's all for a good reason the returning spacecraft don't have enough fuel to carry all that weight back. Act 7. Visitors to one of Hawaii's islands can take a sheltered dog out on adventures for a day. That's right, if you head on over to Kauai in Hawaii, you can pick up a shelter dog and take it for walks on the beach, hikes, or just wander around the island. Each dog is geared up with a cute vest that advertises that the dog is for adoption. The dogs also get some much-needed exercise, which, combined with their vest, helps locals adopt them. Act 8. Fish eggs can survive being eaten by a duck. The fish eggs can still hatch after going in one end and coming out the other. Not all fish species can survive such a journey, and even then, not all eggs even are pooped out in a pristine condition. Still, it's a good explanation for how seemingly disconnected pools and lakes can suddenly become teeming with fish. Act 9. Jim Carrey was the first actor to star in three consecutive box office hits. Jim Carrey didn't have much success in the acting world until he hit his 30s, but that changed in 1994. In the space of 11 months, Carey starred in Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, The Mask, and Dumb and Dumber, which truly kicked his acting career into gear. The Mask, in particular, took the world by storm, grossing $350 million and showcasing Carey's ability to explore a range of roles and emotions. Act 10. The Titanic wreckage was discovered during a top-secret mission to search for sunken nuclear submarines. Robert Ballard, who discovered the Titanic wreckage, originally went to the US Navy to request funding to develop an advanced robotic submersible that would allow him to search for the wreckage. The Navy liked his idea, but decided to use it to search for two lost US nuclear submarines. The mission finished early, and Ballard was able to use the extra time to discover the lost ship. 